and got them all clean. You should be able to see light through all of those. So now these have been a little pain in the butt to get in. Sometimes you have to really kind of force them, not force them, but just kind of to get them in the holes. Try to do this looking at the camera. So like that one's really tight to get in. So I'll have to probably go through with my solder wick and clean out the extra on that. And then that one looks like it's, and you just kind of have to rock it in. Just like that. And take another one. Kind of tight to get in there. There we go. And the next one. So as you can see, I'm trying to line this up as I on the camera as well. So it's kind of hard to get it started and then get it all the way in. So just be careful when you push them in. You don't want to break the little legs off because they're thin metal and they will break. And then you'll have to do this all over again. There we go. And almost the last one. They're all in. And like I said earlier, the um, once they're all the way down, they will be lined up with the holes in the heat sink. And they're pretty much in line. Pretty much in line with the original. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I'm gonna get make sure all these are down. As I as I solder, I'm just gonna solder one leg, make sure it's in there tight, all the way down, and then tack the others. So you just want to solder one leg first to get it to hold it, and then solder the other two, and then get this one in, solder one, hold it. Then solder the other two, and that'll hold the rest of them in, keep them from falling out because that one's. And then this one, I'm going to have to clean the holes out a little bit more um, to get my last chip in. So I'll be back in just a second. Let me. I have gotten all these holes cleaned out. I've got the ICs in. I haven't soldered them yet, and I'm going to solder them. And then once I get them all soldered in. On focus. When we get them all soldered in, I'm going to cut these legs off so they're all nice and short. And that one doesn't look too good. But you get the idea. Use a toothpick, spin it as you get it in the hole, and keep spinning it. Let the solder cool, and that'll keep the hole open. And then you pull your toothpick out. And my toothpick. Looks like that. As it's burned. And I have a few more toothpicks, so I can just use the same same one. Probably to do the whole job. Probably just need one, maybe two, to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and solder these and then get them uh start on the other side. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solder these connections. Clean my tip here. Put a little solder on my tip. And I know my tip is bad, so don't worry about that. It still heats good. So what I'm going to do is put the tip right there at the edge of one of the contacts and make sure it touches a little land here, and then heat heat the wire 
are the lag of the transistor or the AC controller and the uh, circuit board. I have enough slack in my cord here. So I'm going to put that, put a little solder on there and make sure it gets good in contact. Just like that. Touch it to it, to the lamb and the leg. And touch it to it. Put a little solder in there. Boom, they're done. I'll do this one. Take a little heat. Get it good, good contact. A little, just a little. You don't need a whole lot of solder, just enough to hold them in there. It's kind of a hard angle here. There's that one. What I'm doing is I'm putting my solder on the leg and then put a little bit more after it gets hot. And I've made sure all these transistors have bottomed out in the holes before I've soldered them. So once I get a little heat, that's all I need to do. Get a little heat and then do the same for these others. Just like that. Little heat, a little bit more. So I hope you're still, I hope you can still see this, um, what I'm doing here. So, little heat, fill up this little container here, a little hole right there. And there we go, they're all in there. And I've, if you can see how the difference in my solder was because I was kind of in a rush to to do these you can kind of see how dirty that is and how clean that that is because I was doing them one at a time and I was just not being very consistent with my solder so as you can see these have all got solder on them they've made good and I'll check to make sure that each one of these pins that I've soldered is making contact with the connection it goes to on the board like um, I think the middle one goes to this main section here and it connects to this up here for the fuse which has got power on um, and I'll, I'll check each each leg of these to make sure because one of these legs goes to a circuit board um, goes to one of these little little resistors that little resistor right there I think it's the left side of the uh, the AC controller. The left one goes to that little resistor right there. So I'll check the back of the leg to that side, of that resistor on all of these. And the middle one, I said, I think it goes to the bottom. To this main junction bar here going across to this uh, side of the fuse where your power is. So I'm going to check all of these to make sure that they're all set before I start cutting and reassembly. So now I have these to clean and I'll put the chips in, the AC controllers in after I get these holes cleaned out. And then I'll, except for this one, this is my number 16, it's still got the chip in it. So I will clean these out and uh, use my solder wick to take some of this extra solder out once I've got the legs clean, uh, the lands clean, and then I'll uh, use my toothpick, heat them up, open the holes up, and check to make sure the the uh, AC's controllers go in.